You are listening to Let's Talk Tea Podcast with your favorite boss, babe. Yup, Shani Summon Godfrey. This podcast is designed to transform, elevate, and empower you to build your legacy that lasts. I'm not all here by myself, y'all. I am joined by thousands of bosses across the globe right here on Let's Talk Tea Podcast. We are here for no other reason but to help you build your legacy with passion. We sweating over here all over the world. Good morning, good night, good afternoon, wherever in the world you are. Welcome to Motivation Mornings. How are you all doing? I am Shani Salmon Godfrey. If you are new to the my, to my broadcast, how are you all doing? I come on on Thursdays just to help you transform, elevate, empower everything about your business life. I'm super, super, super excited to be here with my entrepreneur family as usual. So welcome. Today we are going to be talking about what to do, steps to take before you go live, what to do before you go live with your content, your original work that you are creating because there is a lot of plagiarism going on in our industry, as you all may know. So we're going to talk about some real practical steps to take before you go live. So there is original content. You're an author or a creative designer, whatever creative work that you have. Once you have your work that you publish, you need to you need to find a way to secure that work, such as copywriting, trademarking, um, patenting your work. Because what's happening is, as long as you put the work out there in the public domain, if it's not copywritten, it's up for grabs. Yes, even your business name. That's why you have to incorporate. So if you are using your business name, before you go live with your business name, with your your podcast broadcast whatever it is as long as you are going live with your content before you hit that go before you hit play before you hit publish one thing that you really should do is to think about how you are going to copyright and trademark your work truth you can do trademarking and copyright for next to nothing next to nothing less than an hour to get all your stuff submitted pay your fee your copy written there's different types you have copyright trademark patent as well as you have um poor man copy what the poor man copy is is you take all of your work that you have created and what you will do with that work that you have created is you will take your work and now you will begin to um, mail it to yourself go through the post office go to USPS and you will mail that work to yourself in a certified mail now keep multiple copies one copy that's open so you know what's in it as well as that copy that you are going to use if um, God forbid somebody steal your work so you got your poor man copy gather all of your work make copies of it mail the originals to yourself go to the post office mail the original to yourself do certify mail once you have that certified copy do not open it if it come push come to shove and you go in a legal a battle then you can have the judge open it do not open it have multiple copies that one you can open for yourself and one you'll give to the judge and one that is not mailed you have original copies of your work now that's the poor man copy that is i'm in a situation where i'm starting off off, I'm on a tight budget, sue string budget, a bootstrap in my business budget, and I need to copyright my work before I go live with it or before I start um, using it for clients. Your 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 um, classes that you're teaching, your courses, those need to be copywritten. Trademark, based on how original it is, like my book, The Entrepreneur Mindset. Um, the five entrepreneur mindset that is copywritten work because there's nobody that ever came up with my five entrepreneur mindset and it's going to stay that way <laughs> right it's going to stay that way so if they ever need to use your work then they have to credit you for your work and then with permission to use your work because I had people approach me about launching courses and everything with my entrepreneur mindset I said not so fast That is not something you're going to do because that's something that I'm already going to do for myself. And that's why you have to copyright your work. Now, you can go through your secretary of state, fill out your paperwork for your copy 
right and cop send off your documentation for your copyright or you can just go big and go to the Library of Congress and copyright your work. You can do it online. You can submit the application online with all of your original content, pay your fee. I'm not going to give the fee just because everybody's in a different state, different place, and I don't want to give you the incorrect fee for your state. But I know that it is under 100 bucks. Some states is 35, some is 55, some based on uh, between 35 and 55, under 100 bucks. So go to the Library of Congress. They are transparent. You can pull the fees without even creating no account or starting the process. Secretary of State, same thing. They are transparent. Go there, pull the, the copyright paperwork slash trademark, and they'll tell you, this is the process, this is the fee. That is something that you need to move on today. A lot of entrepreneurs, we get so busy into building our business, growing our business, and we don't have the foundational things in place. We don't have the 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 legalities in place when you're doing a podcast you need to make sure that you have forms release forms that your people are using again you are securing your content especially if you're going to monetize your content because when you collaborate with people they're a part of whatever you're doing so it needs to be clear what can you do with that work that they're a part of? Because what you don't want is you create, spend all this time creating your content and now you're saying, okay, I pulled the plug, I'm ready to start monetizing and now you're getting a letter saying you can't use it because I didn't give you permission to do that with it. So copyright, get your work trademark, get your work patent based on what it is. And if you're a designer, get your work patent, get a trademark. You have to do those things for yourself or you will lose everything that you are putting all your blood, sweat, tears, money, and sleep less nights into, okay? Always secure it. I always talk about securing, securing, securing. If you don't want to do it yourself, you can hire companies to do it for you as well as you can hire attorney. I believe every business person, every entrepreneur should have attorney. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg in your firstborn for an attorney. You can pay a small monthly fee a month for your attorney, but you need your legal team in place because they will help you. Even your website, a lot of people love to put the statement, copywritten by you, but there's contents on there that really need to be trademarked or file a legal copyright for, not just post a statement copyright. So we have to look at the foundational things just to make sure that we are securing what we cannot afford to lose. And I don't know about y'all, but I can't afford to lose any parts of my business because all of my business is equally important. One body, many different functions, right? Just like the human anatomy. One person with a heart, liver, kidney, lung, and it all works together. That's how you got to look at your business. Do not neglect any part of your business. So before you go live with your content, your webinar content, every content that you're doing, you should be thinking, I need to secure the bag. I need to copyright this, whether you're going to start with a poor man copyright or you are going to do, I'm not even sure if that's the real name that we go by, but that's the name all the attorneys is using. So I'm going to say the poor man copy. You are going to do that until you can file a copyright, actual copyright paperwork registration with your Secretary of State or with the Library of Congress. If you are author, your book should. I repeat, if you are an author, your book must be copywritten. Not just we post, I own the rights, no. Or I'm the copyright owner, no. File legal copyright paperwork. That way, push come to shove, you can use a cease and desist and send whoever it is a cease and desist from using your work. And if push come to shove and they do not comply, then it's a matter of now you got something to work with because now it's going to get dirty where you got to go do class action and legal battles and all that stuff, okay? So... If you guys have any questions for me, go to my website, 
Legacy C as in Charlie S firm dot com or Shani Salmon dot com. Feel free to reach out to me. You have any questions? Email me info at Shani Salmon dot com or Shani at Shani Salmon dot com. I want to hear from you. That is why I'm here every single week. I want to hear from you. You guys can also find my book, The Five Entrepreneur Mindsets, on my both of my website or on Amazon, Barnes, Barnes and Nobles, and Google Play Bookstore. I want to hear from you. I am also going to be giving away a signed copy of the Entrepreneur Mindset in celebration of our 700 active podcast listener in 90 days. Okay. In 90 days, I posted 500 a few days ago, and now we are, we surpassed that number. Okay. So we're getting almost 200 listeners a day. I'm just blessed and honored that you guys are finding value in my content. So to celebrate with you all, I'm going to be giving away free copies of the Entrepreneur Mindset. Go on Facebook, like my page, like my Instagram page, subscribe to my website so you can get the details on how to be a part of that giveaway. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys on your timeline. Bye guys.